So will you be walking into the answer this way? Yeah, so Ricky's right. doing a demonstration right now. <laughs> it's a good demonstration. I'm like, I'm not here, we have to... Guys, Cam here and we are at one of our projects and I'm with my business partners. We've got uh, Rick over here. How are you doing? And we've got Felicity. Hi. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a little walk around our new project, which is a five bedroom ensuite. Is this exactly how you bought it in this condition? This was actually a, a sale directly from the seller. Okay. So it's actually a landlord, so it's a tired landlord. Okay. Uh, a local, local man here. And it's basically his back end of his portfolio. I mean, he hasn't refurbished his place clearly for no. years and years and years. Yeah. So yeah. this is a nice large room as you can see. So this one's going to be an ensuite here. If you can imagine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Where's the ensuite going? So the ensuite is literally going to be where, uh, right in front of us, I'm pointing here, okay. in this section here. Mm -hmm. We've got the plans for this. So we're moving on to the next room. Our clientele here is students. So this is, it's literally on the edge of student area, which means 15 minutes maximum walking distance. Mm -hmm. So this will be the lounge room area, which is a very nice size room. Yeah, here. it is. Yeah. Yeah, are you getting rid of this or are you going to make out a feature or what's happening with the chimney works? So Ricky, the, the chimney, what we're doing is we're going to keep this in okay. uh, just because of two reasons. Saving costs, uh, lintels, it means steels, it also means now uh, they actually want bracing around the sides as well, which is an extra requirement. So we're adding extra money for no, no, no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you get it. Each student needs a one cabinet for a uh, worktop space and one cabinet um, you know, above as well. Mm -hmm. So here we've got five individuals. So that is five, of course. Yeah. Uh, no longer going to be a bathroom, it's going to be a bedroom. So all this is coming out. And you can see that I've already started checking this wall. And uh, this wall doesn't go up to the ceiling, as he said. So this wall isn't a, a load bearing wall. So we can actually remove this wall and then use the additional space so what we've done here is, um, you know, we've had this checked by a structural engineer. We've also had uh, uh, one of our contractors come in. If this is the fire access at the moment, yeah. Oh, right? okay. And this is gonna then here. This is all gonna be coming into the ensuite because it's gonna be a lovely ensuite, nice room mm -hmm. where they've got their own entrance, as we just said. Yeah. If they want it to be, or okay. they can come in, to, you know, coming through the to the lobby or into the kitchen. So yeah. this sort of there'll be a little, a little, little, little small lobby here. Mm -hmm. um, how are we? going to create a fire access well as you yeah. said this you have to be for the communal room yes, yes. because yes. otherwise you'd have to lose space in the kitchen so as this is pretty much <laughs> already kind of purpose oh, built you can actually just take down the bottom and make it a door into the garden could you yeah could you've got you? the door ready here haven't you <laughs> <laughs> we've got a door yeah. here probably not that one <laughs> so a nice little tip is you can always move a window like this, take all of this out, make it into a nice two, two doors open patio area, oh, yeah, so nice. it's going to open up into the yard. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, so I like the way you're walking all over that door. <laughs> 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 Which is going to be used somewhere before we go now. <laughs> you, you on it. So now we're going upstairs. Okay. So in this room, mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be an ensuite. Yeah. Where's... Yeah. So it's, it's quite tight, yeah. uh, so minimum, so let's test your knowledge now, yeah, as, as we've been in the PBIC for a little while, <laughs> listen, right, so minimum room size is for HMO, for a bedroom. I've got right. this written down. I've got it written down, I can't think what it is though. Neither can I, oh no, um, I can't, I can't remember. Right, quick Google then. <laughs> but, uh, Six point something? Yes, yeah, yeah, quite right. Yeah. So 6.1, uh, 6.51. Yeah. Is the man it's, and it's, it's nuts because it's actually mandatory. Right, so okay. you know we've got to get it at six point five one. Uh, so really important because HM officers has already been in. So when you're doing these projects, we always make sure that we got belts and braces approach. Mm -hmm. yeah. So six six point five two square square meters. Yeah. Is the <laughs> <laughs> six point, uh, So in this room we've got six point five two square meters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that it has already been checked with the HMO officer. So we, all, we always get the HMO officer to come in and have a look and just make sure that they're happy with what we're doing. We've got a fourth one here. So this is the, so t t traditionally this is uh, three bedrooms upstairs. That's what it is, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, right? yeah. Two, and now we've got, but we're gonna, yeah. So yeah, we've got yeah, two. Maximizing the space. Yeah. 
So we've got the two downstairs, third one we've been in there, which is a smaller room, yeah. Yeah. and in here we have another, uh, another ensuite room. Yeah. So, is quick. There there? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the <laughs> Actually, yes, because, you know, one of the things that we, was really important yeah. is before we actually um, do any work, it's really important that you get the layout right. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Nowadays, students won't just accept anything. They want a, a good accommodation. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. And uh, for, I'm sure that's what we're going to do here. Mm -hmm. So what that means is, you know, people are happy living in your place and they'll pay you well. And at the same time, you, you know, our place is going to be good. Yeah, that's yeah. good. So what we're going to do, three quarter bed. So it's gonna be, we're going to be a little bit creative with this space here. Okay. So this space over here, where we're going to have the ensuite. Yeah. So what we're going to have is a door which actually slides across. Nice. It's going to be quite cool and trendy. Oh yeah, little sounds, bit sounds it. Yeah. Sounds good. Have a hit, please. So they walk in, they've got the bed nicely along here. Yeah. And they've got a nice area over here to walk across. Yeah, so you kind of walk in. So will you be walking into the ensuite this way? Yeah, so Ricky's right. doing a demonstration right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good demonstration. I feel like, yes, I'm not over here. We have to... <laughs> That's the one. That's actually how it is. Here's the final room. Final destination. So here is the fifth room. Yeah. Do a little swirl. Yeah, the, the master bedroom. The room. And look at this. Can you see that? Look at that. Yeah, now this <laughs> would scare a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But I, I bet it's, if you know what you're doing, then it's nothing, there's nothing major in there, is there? Nick, hit the nail on the head if you're part of the pun. If you know what you're doing, yeah. Which is what this is all about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this, we don't know. So here, now this looks devastating, doesn't it? Look, another little picture there. Yeah. yeah. Devastating, devastating. Look at that. However, it's very superficial. It's actually really easy to rectify this. Now what we've done is before we bought the property, mm -hmm. we've actually brought a structural engineer to check the property itself. Yeah. So I say very minor. Yeah. So there, there's some like tightings that go in here. We call them in, in investor perspective. Um, that's fine. And this is going to be uh, rectified as well. So, yeah. But these are all you know all the little things that you've got to think about before you even start the project. Yeah. 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 yeah it's true. Yeah. But it's not rocket science, is it? No, not at all. Yeah. But you know what? So it's simple, but not simplistic. So it's Cam Devaney and Ricky and Felicity, the team in the Premier Property 57 Club project. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Cheers.